slow down. I tell him, slow down. Slow down for me, baby. Slow down, you move too fast. This video has been a little funny. Skiing and snowboarding are fun. Skiing and snowboarding fast is fun. But something that is not funny is the skier responsibility code. Let me tell you a story about something that was also not fun. On December 15th, 2017, I was hit by a skier while skiing in a slow zone. The skier that hit me was going so fast that he fractured my fibula and tore the tendons in my ankle. This required two surgeries to repair and three months of my life being unable to walk. I am lucky. My injuries will heal. Others aren't as lucky as me and have had far more serious life-altering injuries. But since my injuries are minor, I would actually like to share how this minor thing has still affected my life. Because this man wanted to ski fast in a crowded slow zone, I am unable to ski and walk. I had to cancel all my PSIA clinics, so I have missed the opportunity for professional development that I need to be eligible for promotions and pay raises. Because I can't perform the functions of my job, my coworkers have had to work extra hard to pick up the slack. My employees have not had the same level of supervision and coaching that otherwise would have been afforded them, if I could ski. I have had to listen to my wife break down in tears because instead of being a new mother, with a partner to help, she has felt like a single mother of two, having to take care of me and our four-month-old son. I have not been able to carry my son for fear of tripping or falling. I have not been able to help my wife raise our baby nearly as much as I should. I have not been able to drive myself, so I have had to ask for people to pick me up and take me home. I have not been able to play on my hockey team. I've had to cancel ski vacations and family trips, I've watched family and friends leave for the slopes while I sit at home. I have endured endless pirate jokes, constant staring, and an overwhelming feeling of ineptitude. My passion is skiing. My job is skiing. And that was taken away from me, along with so much else. A bad snow year has been no silver lining. This still would have been the perfect season to train for additional certifications. I'm now at least a full year behind on my own professional development. My wife... My son, my family, my friends, my coworkers, my employees, literally hundreds of people have been affected by one person's decision to disobey the ski responsibility code and ski fast in a slow zone. I hope my experience will encourage you to take that code seriously, to actually pay attention to and obey slow signs. I am a professional ski instructor, and the man that hit me is a competitive ski racer. We are both what we would call advanced skiers and this still happened. No amount of experience or skill makes anyone exempt from the responsibilities you accept when you hit the slopes. Please be more spatially aware and always, always ski slow and in control. Again, I was lucky, I will heal and I will be fine. It could have been much worse and it has been for many other people. The decisions you make on the hill may and will have lasting impacts for so many people. I know that you would never want this to happen to you, and you would definitely never want to be the cause of this happening to someone else. Please obey the code, be safe out there, and have fun.